Let's look at maximizing utility under uncertainty. A consumer's utility function is given by the following. The consumer has M dollars to spend on good X and good Y, and she can choose from either of the following options. Option 1, she can purchase good X at $1 per unit and good Y at $4 per unit. Or she could choose option 2. With option 2, however, there is uncertainty. There is a 40% chance she can purchase good X at $1 and good Y at $1 and there's a 60% chance she can purchase good X at $3 and good Y at $3. What option does this consumer prefer? So rewriting our utility function, what we want to do first is going to drive the demand for good X and good Y. And since we're using a Cobb-Douglas utility function, we can use the exponents to quickly allow us to drive the consumer's demand for good X and good Y. Because of these exponents, the consumer spends half her income on good X and half her income on good Y. Half the income spent on good X is just 0.5M, and the spending on good X is the price of good X times units of good X. If we were to solve this equation then for X, you have the ordinary demand for good X. Likewise, if she spends half her income on good Y, half her income is just 0.5 times M and the spending on good Y is the price of good Y times units of good Y. If we're to solve this equation for Y, we have the ordinary demand for good Y. And now we're going to drive the indirect utility function. So taking our utility function, we're going to plug in the demand for good X and good Y into it. So making our substitutions, here's our indirect utility function. I'm calling that V now. And this will simplify down very nicely to the following. We have 0.5m to the 1 half times 0.5m to the 1 half. That's just 0.5m. And that 0.5m times 10 leaves us with 5m in the numerator. And then we got px to the 1 half power times py to the 1 half power. So we can just rewrite our denominator as follows. All right, so let's look at option one. She can buy good x at $1 and good y at $4. So let's plug those prices into our indirect utility function, and utility will equal 2.5 times her income. And option two will create our expected utility. So there is a 40% chance that price of good X is $1 and price of good Y is $1. And we'll make our substitutions into the formula down here for that. And then there's a 60% chance that the price of good X is $3 and the price of good Y is $3. So if we make our substitutions in for the prices and simplify, this will simplify down to 3M. And since 3M is greater than 2.5M, the consumer prefers option two. It provides a higher level of expected utility than option one. Okay, that's it.